I posted about this last night, but it's now time for UB to start looking into moving on from athletic director Mark Allnut. He's been the Buffalo AD since 2018 and has presided over some of the most successful Bulls football and basketball seasons in program history during his tenure. His off-the-field fundraising has helped secure a state-of-the-art indoor practice facility for UB's football team. The Bulls' non-money sports have had some of their top wins since becoming a D1 school, but it's becoming painfully evident he isn't the right person to lead the University at Buffalo Athletic Department. His predecessors all moved on to larger programs within a short period of time after joining UB. Ward Manuel to UConn and later Michigan, Danny White to Central Florida and now Tennessee, Alan Green to Auburn and now Deputy AD at Ole Miss. Why isn't Allnut receiving the same opportunities? It's because the Bulls' money sports are falling apart under him. UB football, men's basketball, and women's basketball have all been ranked and won postseason games within the past five years. That success led to power programs swooping in and hiring away Nate Oates, Lance Leipold, and Felicia Legit Jack. Allnut replaced Oates in-house with Jim Weitzel. After going 59-13 and their last two years under Oates, including two NCAA tournament wins, UB went 70-49 and with one NIT appearance in four years under Weitzel before he was let go. It's too early to judge George Halkovich, but he's off to a 1-5 start with his lone win over a non-D1 program, Robert Wesley. Alna has had two chances to retain stability or swing for the fences for men's basketball. Both times, he was rejected by multiple coaching candidates as the SUNY system refuses to invest in UB Athletics. If the state isn't going to invest, he needs to get alumni to. And if that's not going to happen, he needs to make smarter hires, which isn't happening. I give him more leeway when it comes to the hire of Maurice Linguist. On paper, it made sense. Buffalo was in a tough spot when Lance Leipold left for Kansas late in the offseason. Coach Moe had Buffalo ties as a former assistant and was considered a well-respected up-and-coming coach. His recruiting classes have been decent, but it hasn't translated on the field. UB was 6-1 and one and finished 25th in the country during Leipold's final season in Buffalo. They were 30-16 and 16 with two bowl wins during his final four years, the best stretch in Bulls football history. Under Linguist, Buffalo is back to struggling. They're 14-23 and 23 with a losing record in conference play. Their lone bright spot, a bowl win during Linguist's second season. Allnut's best hire to date might be Becky Burke. She came in following the departure of Felicia Legit Jack back to her alma mater, Syracuse. Legit Jack was tremendous at UB, turning them from a Mac pretender into a powerhouse, winning nearly 64% of her games during her 10 years in Buffalo, recording 5 20 win seasons, making the NCAA tournament four times, including three wins and one trip to the Sweet 16. Burke is young, has a solid resume, showed progress in year one as the Bulls recovered from a rough start. She had some off-the-court questions with her staff and majority of her recruiting class leaving, but appears to have things right on track early on in year two. Long story short, it's an inexact science as a mid-major AD, but you get judged on the performance of your money sports, and there's been far too much regression over the past five years under Mark Alna. No one expected UB to maintain the level of success they had prior to Oates, Leipold, and Legit Jack leaving, but it wasn't unreasonable to expect them to remain competitive and continue competing for conference championships. That just hasn't been the case. And if the SUNY system and alumni don't change their attitudes towards their athletic department, the only thing that could potentially make any major change is moving on from Mark Alna. The success of the football and men's and women's basketball programs has regressed significantly. Attendance is down dramatically. Community interest has been depleted. Someone needs to be held responsible, and that person is Mark Alna. He's had four major coaching decisions since taking over, and he's already failed on two of them, with us still awaiting what will happen with Becky Burke and George Halkovich. It's time for Mark Alna to be held accountable.